you have made the same question. Your friend have made the same question. Everybody have made the same question. What is the best way to enjoy music? Vinyl or CD? Analog or digital? I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but the answer of that question will be shown in this video. And it's not shown in any video, really. Because what format would you prefer to listen to music? Vinyl or CD? It's a matter of personal preferences, so the answer is in your head. I have tons of vinyls and CDs in the music collection, and they both sound awesome in a good sounding system, or sometimes even better with a good pair of headphones. Okay, with that said, there is no better format. CDs and vinyl, they both sound great. That's why we're gonna talk about the differences between the two of them. And before going through that, I just want to clarify something with you. I'm not a music engineer, unfortunately. So, the differences that I'm going to share with you are based on my personal experience of listening to CDs and vinyl. The first thing to consider is how the album was mastered. It was mastered in digital or in analog. I've heard that the digital mastering is a lot cheaper, and that's why band, when they have limited budget, they only release the CDs of their albums. And after, when they gain some popularity and some money, they release the vinyl out of the, ma the digital mastering recording. And in this case, in my opinion, the sound of the vinyl is flat, it's, it's not so good. When a band remaster an album of them, they can do it in three ways, the mastering. In digital, in analog, or both. And when they only master it in, in digital, I think the vinyl loses some quality in its sound, just like in the difference number one. The other quality of the CD is the same, from the first second until the last one of the playback, and this doesn't happen with the vinyl. In the vast majority of turntables, the sound of the vinyl tends to deteriorate when the needle goes closer and closer into the center. That's why you will get the best sound of the vinyl in the first three quarters of the playback. You can't get scratches both in vinyls and CDs, but when you get the scratch in a vinyl, it's more likely that there's going to be a loop in the playback. When you take a CD properly digitally mastered and a vinyl properly digitally mastered, I think the best sound comes from vinyl, and only because the sound of the vinyl is warmer. When you're listening a vinyl, it's like you are listening the band performing right in front of you. It's awesome. So in personal opinion, I prefer vinyl, and I will tell you five reasons why. The first reason is the size of the artwork. You can hang a vinyl in the wall, and it's going to be like a painting, and you can't do that without CD. It's too small. The second reason why I prefer vinyl is the sound quality. And as I said before, for me the vinyl sound warmer than the CD. The third reason why I prefer vinyl is because when you buy one, you get a code where you can download the digital version. So you get the analog and digital version with one purchase. The fourth reason is a strange one. When you have a vinyl, you have to take care of them. You have to clean them, you have to release the static of them, you have to store them in plastic sleeves. And if you think this is a bad thing, I think quite the opposite. When you take care of the vinyl, you create a personal connection with them. Or maybe I'm just crazy. The fifth and last reason why I prefer vinyl is I think that CDs, they lack personality. It's the same frequency of sound from the first second until the last one. You can't expect any surprises. For me, CDs, they don't have soul. But what about you? Tell me in the comment section what do you prefer, CD or vinyl? If you liked this video, I would really, really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, hop in into the wave.